Hello YouTube, this is the first episode of my let's play and I'm Crone from Amuse Crone. I don't know if it's going to stay the uh, From the Vault series, but yeah, the intro will be now. So I've actually recorded this three or four times but certain things have happened and I'll have to do it again. So I'll do the intro to all the uh, NPCs and they say their Good day. thing and then I'll do the first quest. So let's go to Wari first. Well, greeting stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Yeah, it's weird that he would offer to take you to Luke Galane for free of charge. And the moment he said about the Dark Wanderer was in the introduction, where a cloaked figure goes into, well, I thought it was a bar originally, but yeah, and a bunch of demons and skeletons and stuff come up and kill lots of people. It's very gruesome. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Yeah, that's not true. I think they made his name from... Uh, greed, because uh, he's a greedy, fat slob of a man and a coward. So greed the, greed the greed. Wow, you're a barbarian, huh? It's really great to meet you. I've seen a few of your kind around here lately. I'm a little jealous. I wish I could go off adventuring with you. Oh, by the way, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. Yep. And the the rogue person. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this: Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Point of fact was that one of the three classes for the original game was a rogue, and that's where this entire like sort of thing was based from. I think I can't say that for certain, but it's what I think anyway. Which is a cool nod to the first game, I must say. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, 
Please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. And now? There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Hmm. Yeah. This is first quest, Den of Evil. Um, and my character's name is Keldro. He's barbarian class. Because the barbarians are cool. And it's almost like these guys are uh, worshipping uh, Sauron from Lord of the Ring because they say the Great Eye and all that sort of thing, which is kind of funny. But another interesting note is that uh, beware foul demons and beasts. Yes, indeed. Uh, the first act is actually more like female focused, when the second one is male oriented with Kalosha. So yeah, and uh, and Dariel and the boss from the second one, I can't remember his name, uh, starts with D, are actually twins, I think, I can't remember, it's something like that, like weird and twin related and something, because they're part of the lore, they're two of the prime evils who are basically big badass demons and Diablo along with his brothers and uh, two others uh, are like the lords of hell and stuff and it's all locked. cool so yeah yeah you get and the bosses for the axe are Andariel, Dory, something, something. Ooh, Den of Evil already. Hmm. Yeah, now that. There are many foes here. Uh, yep, yeah, the bosses are Andariel, Doriel, or Dory, something like that. Let's have a look. Um, Mephisto, who is the oldest of the three uh, prime evil. Uh, people, then Bale, who is the middle one, and Diablo, who's the youngest, I think. I can't remember, I have read that sort of thing in a very long time. But yes, get my life up and go kill more things. But yeah, there's the three prime evils and then the lesser prime evil type of things. But. Yeah. An interesting concept that they could have done it, for one of the heroes is have one of these shaman people uh, being able to resurrect other shamans because uh, that would be really irritating for a playthrough uh, and I'm um, gonna get bash which is an epic ability but yeah uh, it might be seemed like I'm trying to speed through this, but uh, I have done this like three or four times, so in the last two days, so uh, I did take a break. Well, it didn't work before yesterday and today, so oh well. Hopefully this time it will go all fine. So. Uh, let's see, uh, one of the things that I like about this game, rather than the third one, is the randomly generated maps. So, even though I have done this a few times, I don't know where everything is because of it generates a different map each time you play a new character. So, well, and a new game sometimes. I think it's like, if you... Um, play a certain t amount of time, then you log off, and 
then you log on to your character a few times or something like that, then the map changes. I can't remember. <laughs> I never really got understood the like mechanics and stuff behind it, so kill the shaman. Ooh, was that a key? No, no. There's another shaman. Let's go kill him too. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Key. I just need to remember where the chest was. <laughs> uh, kill, kill. Uh, that did it. Ooh, level up. So I think I'll get the energy so I can hit things more. And the bash to be able to hit them harder. So that's always a good idea. Uh, yes. If this playthrough goes any well, well, better, or whatever, then I may consider doing another class, but like druid or maybe necromancer, something which isn't like a barbarian. That way, have uh, a change. So, yeah, get an attack. Die, die. Zombies! Yeah. There we go. Attack the blue zombie. And let's see what I got. Mm, bows. I don't like using bows uh, with a barbarian. Oh, uh, even when I'm like playing the, an Amazon or something, because uh, I just don't like it. Armor. I don't know why, it's just weird, but maybe I'll try it, why not? So, yeah. One of the additions in Lord of Destruction was a system where you could swap out weapons, which was quite useful for Amazons and the Assassin class which they introduced. So, yay! Ooh, I have boots. So then, let's give it a shot. Uh, nope, I haven't got... Uh, when I've killed enough of them, a uh, counter comes up, so... To show how much I've killed. So then, let's kill... More dead things. Oh, one. Uh, one of the main weaknesses of a barbarian I found when I used to play this a lot was that uh, facing skeleton arches or arches in general was a pain. I don't know, it might have been because of... Mm, not sure actually. Maybe the range combat was just awful and I'd charge in with the two, two two-handed swords. But, oh well. Hopefully, it won't be so bad. Well, I'll probably die awfully a lot. Yeah. But, oh well. One creature left. So now, is the grand hunt of looking for this one creature. <laughs> yeah, this can be the most annoying bit of this. Because it's like, not on a radar type of thing, so... There he is! Yeah, I got him! Because I'm a lazy person, I'll use my town portal. The rogues are safe for the moment. Now, talk to Akara. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. It's interesting that uh, I don't believe she says why um, her faith in humanity is gone, but and training a paladin, a uh, paladin, no, rock class, a barbarian in a skill doesn't sound very right at all. But oh well, let's go with fine potion because that's very useful. The second quest is with Kasha, and I'll accept that when I start the second quest. So that one is done. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode 
and come back and watch and subscribe and like and stuff. This is from the vault with Crow. Probably a working title, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and watch at whenever I upload. I haven't sorted out a s like thing to schedule them, but yes, I hope you've enjoyed watching me rant and talk and crap. Alright, goodbye.